Okay, so I wasn't going to do this today, but I decided I'm going to do this today. I started rearranging the shop. Um, thank God tomorrow's my day off because I'm going to be buggered, I think. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, you want to see it? Okay, here we go. All right, so when you come in the door now, where is it? So here's my mess here. This is what it looks like now. So this is pretty much the same. Oh, I gotta move that. Um, this is pretty much the same, except this used to be behind me. So I put this here and I put the mannequin type thing here. So you can get to all the bulky yarn from either side. Um, I moved that was over there. So I moved that there. Trust me, I didn't do it alone. Don't worry. <laughs> um, I've got to get some light bulbs for up here because it's really dark in here. I'm still trying to figure out if I should have this here. I'm kind of concerned that somebody's going to, if I'm not paying attention, somebody's going to grab something and run out the door. I don't think so, but I, I don't know. I got to figure it out. I think I might put it over here. So, yeah, so I put that there. I've got my mannequin there. I've got my knitting needle stuff here. I've got my floss here. Um, <clears throat> so, I've got my beads here. I've got all my um, felting yarn in here now. So, this is pretty much all the same. Uh, I did take that, that piece that used to be kitty corner. Um, I flattened it out a bit. Uh, just so I could get the other thing in there. So this used to be over there. So I put this up against this post now. I took the curtains down so that all the light comes in. Um, and then, uh, let's see, I've got my earrings and everything here now so that they're close to me. I have my books. The um, books and everything are here. This used to be in that back corner. So I moved it over here so that this is kind of blocked off because this is the back room and that's the, the door to the bathroom. So I wanted it kind of blocked a little bit and I think that pretty much does that. Um, <clears throat> I'm putting all of Jeff's wood stuff all here. Like this is all his his stuff pretty much. Uh, I gotta take that down still and put it on the wall. <clears throat> uh, now my desk is over here. It's a cluster over here. Don't even look at this. <laughs> uh, I still have to figure out some things over here. I don't know. I gotta figure. I don't know. So now my desk is here. So I set it up so that all the touristy stuff like the lip balm the luggage tags the um, keychains all that kind of stuff is right here so when they cash out they can go oh well and then I've got the um, passport covers and everything here I got my pickles right here I've got all of Jeff's decals all in one space now and then I put all my mugs and everything over here on this side um I put I put this here because all of my wires and everything for all of my lights around my windows is back there and it looks atrocious so I just put that there for now um I'm gonna put some of my artsy stuff here I've got all of my purses and stuff hanging on here now which I think is better um, and then my hats are here. So, yeah. I Here's my new sign. I, I put that out at the corner. So, oh, hey. I had a customer come in a couple days ago. And she said, you know what? My mom has this spinning, spinning wheel. It's an antique. Do you want it? And I was like, what? Okay. So, here it is. Isn't it beautiful? I'm putting it in the window, you know, just because. Um, but yeah, it's so nice. 
I think it, you know, kind of, I, I would have had it over in this window, but it didn't work out. I think it's better here. So I really think it's cool. So yeah, I have to fix my window setting now a little bit, but yeah, so this is what it looks like. I can see everything from my desk now. Um, when I'm looking this way, I can see all of it except this line of sight right here, which is okay. You know, it's, it is what it is, but yeah. So what do you think you guys? Is it, is it better? Is it, you know, I'm thinking I might put, I, it looks so clinical up here. I don't like it. So I'm thinking about putting wallpaper or like um, the peel and stick paper all up in here, you know, um, <clears throat> and then maybe a little bit here, you know, just to kind of give it a homey look. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see. And then maybe, maybe down here, that's not going to happen right away though. So, but yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, I think it's better. It's more open to see here. Ooh, hang on. Oh, stepping over top of everything. I got Bailey's bed back here. <laughs> so, oh, God, what a mess. So this is what it looks like now when I'm looking out. I can see pretty much everything. So I'm, I'm liking that. So yeah, but I'm exhausted. It's quarter to seven. God, I've never stayed this late. Funny story. <laughs> I actually had a good day today, uh, financially. Like, um, whenever I move stuff around in the store, I'm moving the energy in the store and it's a disaster in here people come in. I'm just like, oh my God. Like I, I just kept seeing, thinking to myself, I'm, I'm freaked out because I don't want somebody tripping over something or whatever, man. Uh, people came in and they were just putting money down. And I was like, like, oh, thank you. You have no idea. Thank you. <laughs> so oh, my, hand, my arm hurts. <laughs> um, and then I closed up the shop at about six o'clock which is late for me. I'm usually out of here by five, but the, the theater is open now. So, um, now people are wandering around town. <clears throat> so George and I are discussing whether or not I should be opening later, uh, during the days now. Oh God. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's a discussion that we're having. But anyways, I, I closed, I have my lights, all my lights around there were off. My open sign was off. I brought all my signage in and a lady and her, I guess her son, I don't know if they went next door to get something to eat or like, I'm not sure, but they walked by and she noticed I was in here and she went to try and open the door and she goes, oh, they're closed. And I opened the door and I said, I'm still here, so I'm open. <laughs> he says, you come on in. And she's like, oh, thank you. And I says, no problem. I says, just don't mind the mess. I said, rearranging today. So, and uh, she bought one of my knit books for $25. So I was like, oh, nice. Like, thank you. Like, it was, it was awesome. I was so happy. So, yeah. So hopefully... Uh, tomorrow's my day off and then I'm back on Monday. So hopefully next week is going to be picking up now and I can breathe. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go, I'm going to pack up my stuff here and go home, have a glass of wine, relax and hug my dog. Okay. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye. Hi, Yarn Bees. Happy Easter. Oops. Uh, today's Easter Friday. Is it Easter Friday? Easter Monday? No. It's Friday. I think it's a holiday. Um, but I'm at work. So it's one of those things. Got to make my rent, right? <clears throat> um, yeah. Didn't have a very good start to the day because... I got to work 
and I went to, I, I have a routine. I, I come to work and I, oh, um, I can't have got my hair's a mess today. I come to work and uh, I take Bailey to the little <clears throat> little park across the street to go to the bathroom and then I come back and I do all my opening up stuff. Well, <laughs> I go to go to the park and I go to put my phone in my side pocket of my pants and I can't find my pocket. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm putting my hand down there. I'm like, what is going on? And, uh, speaking of, <laughs> um, and I, I go and I look down and my pocket's not there. And then I realized I have my pants, my leggings inside out and backwards. They're black leggings, so <clears throat> at least it didn't look like really obvious. But yeah, that's the kind of morning I had. <laughs> and George let me go out of the house like that. So I phoned him and gave him hell. He's like, I didn't even notice. So I'm like, thank God that, you know, nobody saw me like that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Just, have you guys done that? Please tell me you have so I don't feel like a total idiot. <laughs> oh, anyway, so that, that was my morning. <laughs> uh, so I brought a, oops, and I'm pulling out stitches. I, I've been working on pickles and working on my um, granny square sweater. But today I decided to bring this big thick sweater that I kind of put aside for a while. I was almost done, right? So, of course, I had to put it aside. <laughs> so it was this one. Whoops. <clears throat> the big, thick, heavy one. Oh. So I have to finish this sleeve. And then I got to put this sleeve on. And then I got to do the collar. And it's finished. I don't know why I, I could have had it done by now. I don't know why I, I just, I started doing too many things. So this one's close, the closest to being finished. So I figure, you know what, Sandy, just do it. Just get it done. And today's a good day. <clears throat> today's a good day to do it because I don't think I'm going to be getting a lot of customers. Um, oh, I almost knocked over a shelf. So, yeah, so I'm just going to work on this. I'm watching a show. A customer came in yesterday and asked if I had any tumblers with certain things on them. And I'm like, mm, no, I've just what I've got out there. She wants to buy a tumbler for her kids. She's got uh, two kids, I think, that like older kids. And, <clears throat> and uh, so she wanted to say, hey, well, actually, her kid <laughs> said, hey, you know, you can, you can do this and this and this and this. And I was like, uh, okay. If I guess if maybe if there's a market for it. So he was saying rainbow friends. I have no idea what that if is, if it's a kid's show or what. So I got to look that up. Um, five nights of Freddy. I had no idea what that was, if that was like a Freddy Krueger movie or what. But <laughs> So I decided I'm going to start watching it. So I started watching the first six minutes of it here. And it looks like it's maybe a horror type show or something. I don't know. Um, Huggy Wuggy. Don't know. And then Minecraft, of course. Uh, I actually thought about doing some Minecraft stuff. And um, just never got around to it. Uh, the Betty Boop stuff is getting some interest. So that's good. I've only got two, more, two mugs and a tumbler with Betty Boop on it right now. So... Um, yeah, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna look into this stuff and see if I can't put some, something together. I don't know. We'll see. But, um, <clears throat> what else? Uh, oh, my new shop. 
Hi, Yarny Bees. I'm, I'm kind of doing the whole, you know, 80s rock thing. I don't know. <laughs> I just didn't want to do my hair today. <laughs> anyway, um, so I was in the middle of editing my video, and I realized that the next part of this video, I didn't even tell you. <laughs> so I'm giving you a little update before that part. Um, I thought I filmed it, but I guess I didn't. So I'm moving the shop again. Uh, we're going around the corner onto Willow Street. So I am excited about that. Um, it's going to be a cheaper rent and, oh my goodness, ah, what is going on here? It's going to be cheaper rent and um, it's going to be half the size, but that's okay, I think. It's a really cute um, shop and uh, I'm really excited to do it. We're moving May 1st. I know. I've been in here for two, two months and we're moving again in less than a month now. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's going to be a crazy, crazy month. Um, so, yeah. Yay. <laughs> um, but we're going to be on the street that we wanted to be on. So, yeah, because I can't keep going like this. You know, it's just not, it's not busy enough on this street yet um, for me to survive with the shop. You guys know all that. Anyway, so this is going to be a good move. Okay, let's go to the other part of the video. <laughs> It sounds so weird. This is supposed to be my new shop. Uh, um, the owner already had some people come and look at this shop. And uh, so I don't know what's happening with that. But anyway, I started thinking about the, the new, new shop. And I thought, oh, there's a section in that shop. Like he put a... A partial wall up like say the room is as big as this one he put a partial wall up with a doorway and so it's like a four foot or four foot by however long God, something must be going on oh something I mean this is shamanus what could possibly be going on that's that bad oh that's not good um so anyways uh the length of the shop and then about four feet or five feet um, deep is a little kind of a little room. And then off that is the long hallway uh, that goes down to the bathroom. So I was thinking on one side of that doorway, I could put up my raven curtain and boom, I have a change room. I'm so excited about that. I'm like, yay. So um, maybe on the other side, I can put the clothing, like t-shirts and whatever, in there, possibly. Uh, I think that would be great. And that way, I don't have to have a change room built. Um, and it's, yeah, like, I'm so excited about that. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's the stuff that I'm thinking about now. I got to find out how, how long the walls are to find out how much grid wall I'm going to have to get with what money. I don't know, but, um, yeah. Anyway, but I'm really excited. I'm, uh, I'm really hoping that this is going to be it for me. It's just like, once I get in there, that's it. It's all good. All good in the hood. So anyway um what else oh <clears throat> hang on gotta take a drink of coffee yesterday <laughs> there's this fellow that um has a scooter like an electronic scooter an electric scooter whatever you call it. and he drives around the town but what he's done is he's hooked up a wagon to his scooter and he's got this big it's like a sheep dog. It's huge. And he has the, the big pillow, dog pillow in the back. And the, the dog sits in the wagon. And uh, they tour around the town and do what they got to do. And um, Well, he came and, and drove, was driving past my shop. And I guess there was a little dip 
or a ledge or something on the sidewalk that he was trying to avoid. And he crashed right into the wall of my shop. And I guess he hit, like, because he hit hard. And I guess the wagon jolted and the dog went flying backwards and got himself all tangled up in the, the he's got a, a leash thing. And, oh, I went running out there. Bailey's going bonkers, right? So I go running out there to help. And the lady that came and looked at the shop was parked across the street. And she came running over. And uh, we were trying to untangle this big dog and get the wagon set up because the wagon just flipped and the dog went backwards and so um he had this big heavy almost like a bungee cord um attached to the wagon and him and the dog and uh, it was just it was craziness but anyway um we had to untangle the dog get the dog set up in the wagon again make sure he was okay and make sure the guy was okay and uh so I said, uh, I says, do you mind if I give your dog a treat? And he's like, sure. So, I mean, the guy was kind of crippled up, right? Like he, he was having a hard time even getting out of his scooter. So there's no way he was going to be able to fix all that was going on. So I came in and I got some, I've got some dried anchovies that I give Bailey and uh, so I came and gave him some, and he just loved it. He thought that was great. Um, and then the guy says, I actually wanted to come into this shop. <laughs> I says, well, you made quite an entrance. <laughs> so he came in, and he bought a couple of things, and um, and then off he went. So, uh, yeah, that was a bit of a... And now I've got somebody sitting on the ledge of my shop. Maybe they're going to come into my shop. Yes, no, maybe? Don't know. Um, so anyway, so that was a bit of an, an event. And the funny thing is, is, I was just about to close up my shop. So I was about to go home. <laughs> so so that, was, uh, that was an interesting end to the day. I'm just glad that everybody was okay. So anyway. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess that's all I have to talk about right now. I guess I'll, I'll go... I don't know if this is going to be the end of this video or not. So anyway, okay. I love you all. I will talk to you soon. Bye.